Guess what? I drew two cards on my turn. I got to make two more illusions. Uh oh. Uh, are they yes. proper illusions that if I target them, they just pop? No, that's no. Lame. these are juiced up owlbear illusions, Brian. Damn. Come on, this is not all illusions is, should pop when this targeted. This is not your granddad's illusions, Brian. My Sorry. granddad <laughs> played with Lord of the Unreal and Phantasmal Dragon when they were in standard, and he was okay with it. Why can't this generation make do with illusions that pop? Can I attack you? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? It's Shuffle Up and Play. Today, we are playing with $50 budget decks. It's Budget Commander with Budget Commander. I'm so excited to have our guests here today that we set the budget for our Commander decks at $50, and they are pr pretty much in that range. It's 50. Let, let, listen, listen. They were $50 when we built them, and then let the winds of commerce do their thing. But let us do our thing, and who are you and what is your thing? Hi, uh, where did it look? There. Ah, hi. <laughs> hi, my name is Tomer from MTG Goldfish, and uh, I do commander stuff at MTG Goldfish. I run the Commander YouTube channel, in fact, and I do a lot of budget commander. So uh, my commander is Min, Wily Illusionist, three mana, mono blue commander. It's a one three gnome wizard. Whenever I draw my second card each turn, I get to make an illusion. And when my illusions die, I get to cheat into play permanents from my hand. It's very appropriate, uh, Brian, that you brought me over for this week and I'm very excited for it. What, what an incredible coincidence that I just happened yeah. to want to do a Budget Commander Who'd have thought? episode and by pure chance invited Budget Commander onto the thought? Budget Commander I episode. Know. I know, this is a Fantastic. crazy co coincidence. So um, yeah, I'm Crazy random happenstance. And I even have someone from EDH Rec and they do Commander, and we're playing Commander. How weird that I didn't invite you onto a Popper episode. I know, so strange. You should have had me on for Modern. No, yeah, hi, I'm Joey from EDA Trek. I am the editor for EDA Trek, and I also host the EDA Trek uh, YouTube channel. We have a bunch of fun videos there uh, and a weekly podcast, giving more context to the data on EDA Trek, because it's a bunch of numbers, but we want to have the human element in there too. I am playing a budgetized version of my absolute favorite Commander ever, Babala Saga Night Witch, or as I like to call her, my baby lasagna. Bubble lasagna! <laughs> <laughs> is my absolute favorite. Golgari Aristocrats kind of stuff. Uh, so three mana, three, three, human warlock. I can tap and sacrifice up to three permanents. And if there were at least three card types among the stuff I sacrificed, each of you loses three life, I will gain three life, and I'll draw three cards. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. You have multiple commanders, I'm noticing. Are there some companions there um, or no partner? Companions. Uh, this is how I track commander tax. Every time that I recast <laughs> her, she's a new upgraded version. Version, so we'll see if I get to the final final form. <laughs> I've never seen that before. It was my, my favorite use of alternate arts. So yeah. Hello everyone, and um, welcome to. <laughs> that's already a part of my own intro that I'm doing, but it just happens anyway. My name is Alec, and um, I am the host of the Fairy Conclave podcast, and I'm super excited to be here. And today I'm playing Satoru Umezawa, which is a but also a budget version of a, a non-budget deck that I love to play and it's all about demons so oh. so yeah i don't know ninja if i spoiled demons. that ninja exactly. demons <laughs> so what satori does is it gives all the creature cards in your hand ninjutsu for four demons are pretty expensive making them cost four makes them a little bit spicier and then whenever i activate a ninjutsu ability i do something i like to call a ninja scry i look at the top three put one into my hand and the rest on the bottom sneaky ninja things exactly sneaky ninja right. things my commander is helena and elena very good friends <laughs> roommates even. Yes. Oh my god, oh, they were yes. roommates. <laughs> they were roommates. All right, so shall we we have shuff, we have shuffled up, shall we play? No. No. Because one thing I have to do before what? we start the game, just totally unrelated. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's happening right now, but um the biscuits, <laughs> I just took the one you were Canadian <laughs> biscuits. I just reached out and took the one you were giving. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is rightfully yours, Joey. <laughs> no, 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 What a green limb duel. I, I, I think that what was that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. trade for wow. good luck. You try. Like, yeah, it's like a pack. Yeah. Question: Can I sacrifice these to my Babala Saga ability? Judge. 
<laughs> no, it judges shaking head. No. Okay. okay. So so these are what Canadians call biscuits. No, these are what Canadians call bribes. Please don't attack me. <laughs> it's, it says biscuits a la creme d'érable. D'érable. A plus for trying. They're dear. They're very dear. Yes. All right. Shall we shuffle up and not attack? Well, we shuffled. Shall we play and not attack Tomer because he gave us bribes, or do we attack him anyway and show him how it's done in America? <laughs> Let's show him how we do it in America. We'll take your cookies and attack you anyway. That's thanks. Thanks. That's great. <laughs> Thank you for the cookies, Tomer. Thank you, Tomer. Yeah. Appreciate Please it. Don't attack me. <laughs> Can't make any problems. No, no, I, I try. It's, it's a little like actually presumptuous that he would. Yeah. It's it's a little okay. like to I? think I would be bribed. I mean, to think so all of us would yeah. be bribed. We we are your brunch pod. Like we we always go to brunch whenever we can at Magic Fest. So like, you can't win us over like that. All right. I have we to have bring two you. boxes next time. That's what I have to do. <laughs> That's what it is. All right. Let's remember that in Commander, the first mulligan's free, which it's already looking like I need that. That's keepable. This is the first time seeing the deck, Brian? No, I've played this deck before. This is a brew I made. It is? I did. It I is? designed this. Is it? I designed this. Um, no, I'm just trying to determine if I should risk keeping a two land hand with no mana accelerant. First one's free, Brian. Yeah, okay, I'm going to mulligan this. And there we go. But I had a really good card in it, Tomer. Was it a soul wanted, ring? No, it was not. This this deck does not, not have a soul it. ring. It does not have a soul ring because soul ring was an easy cut to take three bucks off the cost of my deck. Does not have an arcane signet. So I just went with a proxy mox uh, uh, emerald instead. Cause that just, <laughs> that's, yeah. let's just oh, 10 cents. that type of budget. Okay. Yeah, it, it only cost me 10 cents in ink and cardboard. This is the hard part, the shuffling. Uh, you don't look the, at the shuffle I, part. I have baby play. hands. The playing part is pretty the, hard. The playing part is even harder. But like, I always do magic online on commander clash and such. And you can play magic online. Like, yeah, you have a show called Commander Clash that we should go watch on the YouTube. Like and subscribe over on Commander Clash. Card popping up here, here. No, nope. we <laughs> no. don't. No, no, no. no cards. None. Right, None. Right. You just embarrassed yourself on right, national, right. Television. <laughs> national television. Would you, would you, national television. Would you <laughs> international television. I've got viewers in other nations. Now, don't do that. This isn't. Okay, okay. That, right. That's your best card. You can't oh, have that one. There God. you go. Here you go. All right, give me. Would you like to cut, Alex? I would love to. And I'm gonna do it the normal way. Oof! All right. As a power move. That is a power move. Okay, 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 okay. This one is perfect. I will keep the seven. All right, I can keep this. Sounds good. And it was my free mulligan, so I do not have to place a card back. Shall we roll to see who goes first? Of course. Cool. Let's do it. Nine. Okay. Nine. All right. Twelve. <laughs> no, seven. Close. Okay. Close. Give or take. Not nine. And six. And I will actually remember this time because I sometimes forget that I get to draw even though I'm going first. That's a magic card. Here we go. Hopefully. Forest. Pass. Welcome to Budget Commander. <laughs> hey, no soul ring star. Oh, yeah, because you cut it. All right. Yeah. I will draw a card. I will also play a land. It's an island and also pass. Nice. So responsible. I know. I will draw a card. I will play a swamp as my land for turn. And I'll play a Wayfarer's Bobble. Okay, oh. There we go. First turn. Pass Pass the out already. Wow. Exactly. Draw. Way ahead on Borg. Kill Alec. I've got myself a forest, and I'll go ahead and basic land cycle and ash barons to go find probably another forest, and I'll pass. I like your forest arts. That's a good one. They're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I did count to the basics, so I went for the ones that are like three cents. All right, uh, untap upkeep and drawer. Hey, that's an interesting card. I'm gonna go ahead and play a forest and tap two for some rampant growth. Search my library for, in this case, a mountain, which I very much need. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle the old library. Honest mountain. ramping. And so I will put a mountain into play tapped, and I pass the turn. Honest ramping, I like it, Yes. Brian. This Just what, simple, simple, innocent ramping. This is what bad, budget magic is all about. It's just innocent ramping. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Yes. I'm going to play another island. Surprise, surprise. Tap two 
and cast Jacob Hawken Inspector. This is a two mana, zero two legendary creature, human advisor. It can tap, draw a card, then exile a card from your hand face down. You may look at that card for as long as it remains exiled. You may pay six mana if you do transform Jacob. Hmm. So it flips over to something else. Very what cool. is it? I don't know. <laughs> And then I pass. I would hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I recently assembled this deck. Maybe I'm not super familiar with all these cards. Who knows? We'll find out together. <laughs> It'll be a nice surprise yeah. when I flip it over. Untap, upkeep, draw. For my land this turn, I'll play a choked estuary because we're playing budget commander. And I'll reveal this swamp for my hand so that it enters the battlefield untapped. Beautiful. Thank you. And then I'll tap two and play an Ornithopter of Paradise. Yo. This is a two mana, zero two Thopter with flying and I can tap to add one mana of any color. And like an Ornithopter that's also a Birds of Paradise. I get so it. So clever. You're just getting this now. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I'll pass the turn <laughs> after that. <laughs> I'll untap, do the draw thing. I'll play a Swamp and pass it right onto you. That's it? No, not, all right. Untapped mana, very scary. What instant speed trickery? It's turn two, calm down. I thought it was turn three because I had three mana. Mm. I really hope this is a land because it is not, but it's a good card. Ooh. It's a good card. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna scooze. Excuse me. All right. Brian, I'm really glad you said that or else I would have said that. Yeah. So, so thank you. All right. I took, well, I played it. I, I have priority for the Steve Martin reference. Yes. <laughs> Past turn to a fellow aficionado of Steve Martin's 50 year old comedy routine. <laughs> I actually did not know that was from Steve Martin, but. Oh, my sweet. It's a really good <laughs> My sweet Canadian child. <laughs> Untap, draw a card, play, guess what? It's another island. Tap three mana, cast my commander. I'm gonna have a response to that. <gasps> Just cause I know that you're going to draw a second card immediately and I don't want you to start doing that. No. So I'm gonna pay two and I'm gonna cast go for the throat to destroy target Jacob Hawken. Wow. In response, I'm gonna tap Jacob Hawken, activate his ability, draw a card, then exile a card from my hand, face down. So I'm gonna draw a card. I'm going to exile a card. Face down. All right. Uh, I can look at it whenever I want. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yep. Uh, you, you have that right. <laughs> I'm going to just leave it over there, I guess. And then no more responses. Jacob dies. Sorry, buddy. Wow. I just died for his time. I wow. see an engine forming and I'm a little scared of it. Into the graveyard. Yeah. But now Min can enter. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Not when I want, not what I wanted her to enter, and not like this. But it's fine. She's on the battlefield. She's just hanging out, and now I pass. Wow. Okay. Show Sounds me. good. <laughs> All right. I will play a swamp as my land for the turn, and then I think I'm just gonna follow Tomer's lead and go ahead and tap three and cast my commander, mm. Satoru Umezawa. So get ready for some action next turn. And then, just to send a message, Professor, I'm what? gonna attack you with my Ornithopter No paradise. way! What? What? <laughs> what? For zero. Sending a message. Uh, does anyone have anything they could, well, do you have a, the, okay, I take. I, I'll allow it, it. It can only destroy non-artifact creatures. I realize this is an Ornithopter Fine. Paradise. <laughs> I take the damage, but you realize, Alec, you and I are now enemies in this game. You take I'm zero okay damage. This. It does, we, it is. It's a principal thing. I have yeah. been publicly humiliated. <laughs> by this. Oh. This is, in some ways, one might argue, if that were a 1-1 one -one flyer that hit me, it would be less of uh, a humiliation. This is symbolic, and I will I will come back at you. We needed to have a good rivalry yep. start at some point in this yeah. game. Here we go. It might as well be now for Here zero damage. So. Not right. quite first blood, but close enough. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Bring it, let's go. All right. All right, and then I'll pass the turn. Good oak. Untap, draw, I uh, will play a forest, and then I'll pay three mana and cast my own commander, Babala Saga, the Night Witch. Oh, no. I'm gonna take these. I like your system. I like your system. It's uh, it's clever. It just helps me keep track of, yeah. uh, you know, whenever you cast her. It, yeah. All right. This is why showcase all done. All done. frames and 50 of them are great. Right, Brian? Uh, no comment. Okay. No <laughs> comment. Oh, uh, uh, during your end step, Mm. Tomer yeah. has fed us, so I think it's only appropriate that I eat from his graveyard. My scavenging ooze will consume your creature and get a plus one, plus one 
counter on it, I gain one life, going up to 41. They're exiled. <laughs> That's a great, we, <laughs> to, Tomer, we do usually add effects oh. though, throughout the rest of the game. Whenever anything gets oh, exiled, whenever oh, anything gets yeah. exiled, we're gonna hear Tomer go, ah. It's gonna be my text In fact, I may use that in all future episodes as our exile <laughs> I give, effect. I give you credit. From uh, now on. You're royalty right. free. Okay, so that being done, I am going to untap, upkeep, and drawer. Oh, well I did oh, drawer. drawer. I'm not sure what, what type of draw phase that is. Let's go ahead. It's the drawer phase. <laughs> it's the drawer phase. It's after the cabinet What's in there? phase. <laughs> Let's go ahead but and play. the Chesterfield phase. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play. The noir phase. Sorry, go ahead. Let's go ahead and play a Findhorn Elves. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move to declare attackers What's your thing at? 2-4? It's a 2-4. It's a big bo booty. Pretty chonky. Yeah. Chonky. Tomer, scavenging ooze is coming at you. Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you cookies, Brian. And made it a 3-3. Three, three, <laughs> That's Which true. is very nice. Not only did I feed you, I fed the ooze. And this is how you repay me? All right. Well, excuse me. All right, that, need, that needs to die just so that reference can die. Don't kill it. <laughs> you can't kill it. You're I'll tapped take, out. I'll take the three You'll damage. take the three damage. Blah. There you go. What's the damage sound? The damage You sound. just provided us with one. <laughs> Can we use Man. only Tomer effects for the rest only of this? Tomer effects for, an, for for the rest of this episode? Okay, and then I, uh, I I I pass I pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm going to draw a card. I'm gonna play another land. Mm -hmm. And then let's have some fun. I was already having fun. Were you having fun, Joe? Absolutely. Yeah. Wanna, Were you having fun? Have Are you not having fun at this point? I'm, I'm as host. To... As host, I'm hurt that you haven't been having fun. I invite you out. No, here. I just want to level up the the fun. Okay. I'm going to attempt. So to you're saying I'm up. not fun enough for you? <laughs> I'm just saying that I want to spice things up. All right, Brian. All right. I want to spice things up by casting a spell. All right. Irenicus's Vile Duplication. This mm. is a sorcery that says, create a token that's a copy of target creature control, except the token has flying and isn't legendary if that creature is legendary. Oh, wow. Two and the men. target, uh, of course, is going to be men while the illusionist. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good. Everybody say pass and yield. Yield, 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 yield. F6. Yes. Two commanders seems yes. pretty decent. Yes. yes. All right, all right, all right. So I have the token for this one. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just your sound, sound, your sound effects. Really, we will really be adorable. We will be splicing those in. <laughs> we, we just treasure you, Tomer. We really yes. do. I don't play paper magic, so I don't. I guess people don't hear it when I'm doing it on Magic Online. So <laughs> this just come down. I, I can just see Tomer just at his computer. <laughs> 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 when I when I crew a vehicle, I just go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm attacking. Uh, Not Brian. me. You have a one one. But Alec is currently my enemy, and if you attack me, then you will be my enemy. And that's my attack on you was logical based on board. Uh, uh, presence, now it will be personal. You know what? That threat worked. I'm just <laughs> not going <gonna> to <laughs> yeah. I'm very timid, Brian. All right. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I forgot you were Canadian. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't oh want to deal I just with damage. Create an incident? <laughs> I don't want to deal damage. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want to draw cards. All so right. you're not attacking? Not attacking. Wow. I'm skipping and attacking. I want to deal damage and draw cards. Oh, yeah. We're very different people. <laughs> that's true. Right. If, if there was incentive to draw cards by attacking, I'd do it. But anyway, I'm not, so I'm passing. Oh, no, no, no. You, you actually can. You, you should attack me. Like. If oh. you want to. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to. No, no, no. Would, it be, impo would it be impolite of him not to attack you? Well, That's no, very I don't polite know. of you, Alec, but I'm just going to pass the turn. All right. I've heard of Canadian Highlander, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Untap. Oof. I keep draw. As my land for the turn, I'll play this island. Okay, let's get the demon party started, I think. Uh -oh. It's time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go to combat, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to declare the Ornithopter of Paradise as an attacker at you, Professor. 
my Findhorn elves leap really, really high in the air and smack that that ornithopter down. They, they, they get through. They get through. They are in a tree. So. They, yeah, they climb up in the tree. <laughs> this one's got a rake. A pool skimmer. Okay, so no blocks have been declared. Yeah, no, no blocks. I'm going to activate a ninjutsu ability of a creature card in my hand. Sure. So I'm going to reveal Dreadhound as that creature, <laughs> uh, which is a it's a demon dog. It's a 6-6. Six, six. It enters the battlefield, uh, and I'll mill three cards. And then it says whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from a library, each opponent loses one life. So before that goes onto the battlefield, I'll do the ninjutsu scry um, trigger off of Satoru. So mm-hmm. I'll look at the top three cards, put one into my hand, and the rest on the bottom. Um, okay, that's done. Now this will go back to my hand as a part of an Ninjutsu. Mm-hmm. And then this Dreadhound will enter, attacking you unblocked. Wow. I take Whoa. six. I go down to 35. So I'll mill. Oh. Whoa. Is that a creature? It's, uh, it is. A creature. Garuda, Doom of Depths. Also a demon, yeah. Yep. Um, Harvester of Souls. Oh my god. And a Demir Aqueduct. Cool. So we each take two, two from the demon dog. Okay. Do I also take two from the demon dog? All opponents, you do. I am now at 33. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. And pass the turn to you, Joey. Cool. Not terrified of that at all. I will untap. Fine. I will draw. Um, let's go ahead and play this Bajuka Bog. Alec, I'd like to exile your whoa, graveyard, please, because whoa, whoa, whoa. I just saw a Garuda and I'm afraid of that. I want to, I, I was going to eat the Garuda. Scooz uh, is hungry. Scooz, Scooz is hungry. I do don't really understand. Yeah, do you yeah, have yeah. a response? All right, I, I do. I do have a response. I'm tapping for Scooz to eat Garuda. Doesn't matter with the Bajuka Bog coming down. I gain a life mm-hmm. and my Scooz gains another plus one, plus one counter. Then Bachuka Bog will exile the rest. Yes, it will. Look at all this responsible graveyard hate at the table. You'll have to see it. <laughs> uh, then I'll pay three and I'll cast a Weirding Wood. This is an enchant land aura. When it enters the battlefield, I investigate. So I will create a clue token and the enchanted land can tap for two mana of any one color. So I'll make myself a little clue guy and then I'll pass it on to you, Prof. All right. Uh, untap, upkeep, drawer. 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 <laughs> I am very happy that I drawered this. <laughs> oh no. It's a Moss Fire Valley, which allows me finally to bring in my commander. Ayo. Z. The roommates. The roommates. They're very good friends. <laughs> Helena and Elena. They've been roommates for a long time because they're very good friends. Just like me and my husband. Yes. Very good roommates. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> now, what's really cool about them is not that they have first strike. It's not that they have reach, but it's at the beginning of combat on my turn. I put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature I control, where X is Helena and Elena's power. And that creature gains haste until end of turn. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. It's pretty neat. That means that as I move to declare attackers, I'm going to get to put two more counters on my scavenging ooze, making it a 6-6. And that 6-6 is coming at, (laughs) is coming at you, Alec. We can 6-6 back and forth. I'm okay with this. Uh, is, so is the attack a success? It is, no blocks. A success. Stop. Oh, no. Stop. That's no, so good. no. That's so good. The EDH <laughs> Rec podcast is all about the dad jokes, the data and dad jokes. Are you are you trying to come for my gig? I'm a dad. Fair. I have Actually, a license. You got me beat on that. Yeah. I have a license. You have me beat on that. That's completely yes, fair. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all right. Does it resolve? It's a success. The oh, damage wow. it is successfully success. hits. As much as I hate right. to say that out yes. loud. I'm enjoying this. Yes. <laughs> Let, them Let them fight. Let them fight. Very nice. And then I'm 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 gonna pass the turn. Excellent. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to be really original over here. I'm gonna play an island. Whoa. Is land. Is land. And then that's it. That's a pass. All right. Not worried about that at all. No. It's probably Blue fine. Blue players with untapped mana? It's Most fine. honest thing in the world. It's fine. Okay, my land for turn will be another swamp. Let's go ahead and tap one for an artificer's assistant. Aww. This is, oh, do you like birds? It's a cute little birdie. It is. <laughs> Nothing sinister about that. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be a sound effect every time I play a, a creature? <laughs> Aww. So it's a 1-1 bird with flying, and whenever I cast a historic spell, I scry one. I will also go ahead and tap 
two for a ghostly pilferer, which does a whole lot of stuff. It's a two one spirit rogue. Whenever it becomes untapped, I can pay two to draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I can draw a card. And I can also discard a card to have it become unblockable for a turn. And then I'll go to combat and- Not me. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at all that blue mana on top. Five and a half true. blue mana on Come on. What could it be? And even though it has flying, I think that doesn't matter too much to no. the Dreadhound. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to combat, and Tomer, I'm gonna swing at you with my demon dog. That's a big ouchies. Uh, I will not block. Does okay. anybody want to respond to it? Tapped out, bud. Very sorry. Good job, dog. <laughs> Bang. Good boy. Good right. boy. Six Good damage. Big stretch. That's it. Yeah. Six damage. Pathetic. That's it. All right. Pathetic. Wow. He says. That That's, wasn't very Canadian it's of but you. A, it's <laughs> but a scratch. He's right. getting a little salty at yeah. this point. Yeah, All right. Uh, this is what happens when I give people biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> give them the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do this at some point, so. Uh, all right, that's all for me. I'll pass the turn to you, Joey. Real quick, before yes. it becomes my turn, I would like to activate my baby lasagna. I am going to tap and sacrifice up to three permanents. I will sacrifice this forest, Whoa. this clue, and also this weirding wood. That's an enchantment, an artifact, and a land. So I will draw three cards, you each will lose three life, and I will gain three life. Nice. Baby lasagna. Yeah. Yeah. Making lasagna, eating some Ooh. foods. Eating my stuff. This is like getting heartburn from the lasagna. It really hurts the life total. Ooh, look at these cards I drew. These sure are cards in my deck. All right, all good. I will then untap for turn and do that whole draw step thing. All right, so for my turn, what I'm gonna do is play just a little forest guy there, and then I'll pay four and cast a World Shaper. 3-3, mm. three, three, whenever it attacks, I may mill three cards, and also when it dies, I get all of my dead lands back into play tapped. Ah. Uh, How many lands are in your graveyard right now? Uh, there are currently two. Okay. But as you can see, I like eating my own stuff, so yeah, there might be more later, who can tell? Yeah, you don't really have enough stuff to sacrifice yet. Uh, yet, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it. So before your turn ends, I'm going to tap my Finthorn Elves, and I'm gonna exile that forest. In my grave, I, but I wanted my lands back. Yeah, well, um, what are you gonna do about it? You don't. Them? You don't get them. I'm. I'm There's actually. Other lands, Joey. I, There's <laughs> other lands to conquer. I want and this explore. one. Uh, it's just a forest. I'm actually going to respond to that. I'm going to tap Baba La Saga Nightwitch, uh -huh. just sacrificing World Shaper, mm -hmm. and uh, that is going to have the death trigger to return the lands in my graveyard back into play, so that you can't exile my lands. You can exile the World Shaper. It's 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 dead now. But I've already said I wanted to exile the forest. Yeah. Right. But I want that one to be on the battlefield and right. dead. Sorry. So my exile does not exile anything. I don't get to change targets. Nope. That seems yep. very unfair. It All did right. nothing. It fizzled. I want land. All right, I fine, wanted, that, I wanted fine, that forest. Fine. Well, That's I, a good time. Your end step, I assume, resolves. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold up. Um, I oh. also have a Dreadhound trigger off of the creature dying. Good point. So um, each of my opponents will lose one life. Uh, Thanks, Joey. Right. Welcome. Yay, okay, well, I am untapping, or, uh, sorry, are we now, is the end step resolve? Any responses, blue player with a whole bunch of mana? <laughs> I'll allow it. All right, you'll allow the end step to reach yes. its, its its end. Yes. The end of the I'm end step. I'm very gracious, Brian, all right? All right, untap, upkeep, and drawer. Hey, look at that. You like, do you like my drawers? <laughs> no, what, don't ask, what? <laughs> all right, so, we're gonna go ahead, and so we're going to spend, mm, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spend three for a little old card called an Evolution Sage. Whoa. This says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you proliferate. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't it be cool if I just drew a land just now? Uh, that is a cool thing. My Findhorn Elves are gonna add a green mana that will go into the Mossfire Valley for two. And I'm gonna bring out this little card called a Dusk Shell Crawler. This is a zero three insect. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Each creature you control, the plus one plus one counter on it has trample. Oh. I'm putting that plus one plus one counter on Helena and Elena partners. And then, hmm, you know what I wanna do? I wanna play a forest. Oh, the value. Tri trigger, <laughs> trigger. I proliferate. I'm gonna oh, add yeah. a counter to Helena and Elena. I'm gonna add a counter to my skews. And then I am going to move to combat. Helena and Elena are going to put four counters on another target creature. I'm going to put those four counters on my Dusk Shell Crawler. Boom. Isn't that interesting? It also gains haste. Nice. Cool. All right, what's your biggest toughness of creatures over there? I've got a 2-4. 2-4. Mm 
two four. Isn't that great? Bring it. I, I will. <laughs> wow. I'm spinning words Let's out. Go. All Very right. Cool. All right. My scavenging ooze is coming at yous. <laughs> All right. This takes like mental damage. I feel like I, I lost life. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm not going to block. Ooh, all right. You take seven. Ooh. Okay, I'll take seven. Not bad. Not bad, Brian. That not was bad. pretty good. Not bad. Pass the turn. On your end step, oh, however. Yeah? What are you is, doing? I'm going to do something. I'm going to tap my blue mana for something very spicy. I will cast... You find the villain's lair. Yo. This is an instant. It's a modal spell. Choose one. Foil their scheme. Counter target spell. Or learn their secrets. Draw two cards. Then discard two cards. I'm choosing learn their secrets. I will draw two cards. I, I uh, all right. Obje objection. Yes. Uh, wouldn't learn their secrets have something to do with like seeing the cards in our hands? I don't think that effect should do what it does. You're saying it's a flavor fail. It's a flavor fail. Therefore, the spell fizzles. I know we have a judge here. Do we have a flavor judge? Here? Flavor judge. I am the flavor. Look at how I'm dressed. I am the flavor. But they're judge. in the villain's lair. All they're right, I will. Their scheme in the spirit secrets. of good relations between our two nations, <laughs> I will allow it. I think we're also going to take back the biscuits, Brian. Right? <laughs> no, no, not my Canadian biscuits. <laughs> All right, I'm resolving the spell. It really resolves. Cool. I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to discard two cards. So draw, and draw, and then whoo, whoo, cards. Um, that's the sound that. effect for whenever anybody gets card draw now. <laughs> cards. <laughs> no, we also with the cards. I like. I that. didn't even realize I was making so many. You don't make sound effects when you do. No, that? I no. do. You're just okay. yours. Just are a lot more adorable. <laughs> My, mine are loud. <laughs> All right, I'm going to discard two islands. All right. Um, and the spell resolves. But this also, when I draw two cards on a turn, it triggers Min, a wily illusionist. Ah. Because whenever you draw your second card each turn, that includes my opponent's turns, uh, you create a 1-1 one, one blue illusion creature token with this creature gets plus one plus oh. For each other illusion you control, I control two Min, so I get two of these triggers. Therefore, I make two... Illusions. Kaka. Wait, why they're did they bears. call? Why, because they're cows. owl bears. Oh, okay. Well, they're like you, the, the, right, the noise yeah. that an owl makes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everyone it's knows. an owl bear, so it's like a hoot and then like a roar. All right, you just roar. as far as far as Tomer's sound effects, you're just gonna have to bear it. <laughs> that was a grizzly. Pop, I will Brian. get over it. All right, all right. All right. Will I, you get owl it? I will. Does that work? Uh, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. It was not good. D, D plus, D plus. <laughs> Apply yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I will allow you to finish your end step. God I damn know. it. That is so much better. <laughs> My end step ends. <laughs> <laughs> good. All right. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm spreading. And I will play an island, as the cool kids do. I will. Play a uh, wizard class. This is a uh, level up enchantment thingy. Uh, the first thing, I don't know what it's called. Sure. It's an enchantment class. That's, that's what it says right there. Level up enchantment thingy. Wait, I have to read all the cards, right? Come on. It's a, okay, so it's an enchantment class. It says you have no maximum hand size. I can pay three mana to level it up once, level two. Uh, then I draw two cards. And then whenever you draw a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control for the level three, which is five mana. So it's on one right now. Now, eh, we'll just we'll just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, <laughs> right. we're gonna level it up to level two. Ooh. Bing, level two. <laughs> that's, that's the level up sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I draw two cards. <laughs> yeah. One, two. Uh oh. Cards. Guess what? I drew two cards on my turn. I get to make two more illusions. Uh oh. This is. I might have running out of tokens already. This was. Not good. All right, cool. Yeah. But that's fine. And now these are of uh, plus one plus zero for each other, so they're all uh, three ones. Wow. Yes. Uh, are they yes. proper illusions that if I target them, they just pop? No. That's no. These are juiced up owlbear illusions, Brian. Damn. Come on, this is not. All illusions is, should pop when this targeted. This is not your granddad's illusions, Brian. My so. granddad <laughs> played with Lord of the Unreal and Phantasmal Dragon when they were in standard, and he was okay with it. Why can't this generation make do with illusions that pop? Can I attack you? <laughs> <laughs> No, you have your big yeah. creatures too big. You can try. Are your right. three ones or four ones? There are three ones because it's for each other. Yeah. Let me, but let me those put them two, on. two have summoning sickness. Yes. So, yes. So, so I can attack with one of them. So wouldn't that make them four ones? Am I doing math wrong? 
This creature gets for each other illusion you control. Oh yes, yes, I'm bad Stop at math. Stop helping Judge. him. Four one, four ones. Thanks. I work for a data website. Joey, I'm attacking you for four. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you. I take four. Your welcome question mark. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right, uh, on your end step, I'm gonna tap two and crack my Wayfarer's bobble that has been chilling on the sidelines for a while. So I'll grab a basic, put it onto the battlefield tapped. We love basics here on budget. That's be that's because we're we're so basic. Oh, uh, spice lattes, yes or no? Spiced lattes. Spice, pumpkin Pump spice lattes. That's you the need, one. You need the I pumpkin. Have to it. Espresso. Yeah. Black. Pumpkin spice though. I would not put pumpkin spice in my espresso. <laughs> Not even a little. Would no, you put espresso in your lost, pumpkin lost. spice. I wouldn't. I, I I would put pumpkin spice in my French toast. When I make French toast, I put pumpkin spice in the French toast. I like that. That sounds that really good. It is really good. Yeah. Little, little, little splash of orange juice. Yeah. It sounds almost as good as these biscuits that Tomer got for us. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. I'll allow your end step to end. Is that how you put it earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I pass to you. Oh, okay, cool. You're welcome. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Sweet. Okay, so. Sweet like biscuits. <laughs> Sweet like Canadian biscuits. Sweet okay. like Canadian cream filled biscuits. They're filled with cream, it says so. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. I don't know. Tell me more. Cream. <laughs> it's like maple cream. So I'm going to go to combat. <laughs> maple. <laughs> Maple cream comes from Canada. <laughs> straight straight from the maple tree. That's how it works. Maple, that's when trees bleed, they bleed delicious maple cream. Yeah, and they put it in a biscuit. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. anyway, Alec, sorry. were you gonna play yeah, a turn? Were, were you gonna, gonna play, play a turn magic? of magic? Yeah, or really were we gonna just keep talking? It, so. Oh, oh boo, that was good actually. I just I'm overwhelmed with the amount of <laughs> American Canadian love that's happening. Keep in mind my 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 uh really good friends have reach. Do they really? They, they do. do. They do. Cause That's because they they've bows. got, yeah. That's a, oh yeah. You know what's the okay. worst thing? Is when they have artwork with bows and they don't have reach. Yeah. That, I feel like it's unplayable. Like Nylea. Nylea doesn't have reach. Right. Why does Nylea not have reach, wizards? Wizards. All right. The power of their uh, decidedly platonic love is able to give them reach. Wow, decidedly. Ooh. I know the reference that you just went there. That was a deep cut. Yep, that's mm. a good one. So I'm going to send the Artificer's assistant at you, Joey. Uh, and then I think Dreadhound also, I'm going to send at Tomer. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Um, so how big is the Dreadhound? It's just a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, we'll do the trade. I block with my two illusions. Before damage, let's Ooh. do something that you might have seen before. I'm going to activate an ninjutsu ability of a creature in my hand. Uh, Reaper from the Abyss. Ooh. It's a 6-6 six, six demon with flying, and it has morbid. So it says, at the beginning of each end step, if a creature died this turn, destroy target non-demon creature. That is going to be uh, with Artificer's Assistant. So first I'll do Satoru's uh, Ninja Scry. So I'll look at the top three. Uh, put one into my hand and the rest on the bottom. Okay, and then this will return to my hand, and Joey, you'll have a Reaper from the Abyss coming at you. Wow. Take six. With damage, these will trade with Dreadhound. Mm -hmm. uh, Dreadhound does trigger itself, so each of my opponents will lose one life. Mm. Excellent. Uh, Wait, we'll also lose three life. Three life, yeah, because yes. I have two creatures dying right now. Ouch. And I have two triggers as well when my illusions die, because Mint has another ability that says, whenever an illusion you control dies, you may put a permanent card with mana value less than or equal to that creature's power from your hand onto the battlefield. Both my illusions were four ones at the time of their death, so I'm going to put a permanent of mana value three first. It is a Chasm Skulker. And then for my second trigger, I'm going to put an island onto the battlefield because it doesn't specify non-land permanent, so you can put lands onto the battlefield. Cool. I may have made a mistake with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Go to my second main phase, and I'll tap a, for a blue and recast okay. Artificer's Assistant. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go to my end step, and my Reaper from the Abyss Morbid Trigger will happen because some creatures died this turn. And I'm going to blow up the Flying Min um, Wily Illusionist. Wow. Wow. It's not a demon, right? It is not a demon. <laughs> okay. It is just a happy gnome wizard that never hurt nobody, but it is gone now. It's, oh, it's you, you hit me for four. It, it it did hurt somebody. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what he said. He said it never hit. It never hurt. It was the double yeah, negative. The min. Double negative. He said it never hurt nobody. The no. min didn't hurt anybody. Her owlbears did. Yeah. It's very different. All right. It's it. Nah, cause and effect. 
I don't understand. Or where did the owl bears come from? I don't know what cause and effect even is. So. I'm a magic player. I just attacking <laughs> and that's it. In magic, it's effect then cause because you go in the reverse order on the stack. Oh, this is they resolve in my uh, Magic online deals with all this nonsense. Right. All right. You can play magic online? <laughs> you can. You can play commander on magic online. Not arena. Arena doo doo. Why would magic arena online, have though? multiplayer play and magic commander? online. Yeah. It's so good. All right. Pass the turn to you, Joey. All right. I'll untap upkeep bourdois. Uh, <laughs> Listen, we just got to go untap upkeep drawer, untap upkeep right. armchair, untap right. yeah. upkeep. Yeah. Is that each end step if a creature died? Each end step. Wow. Is there a creature that you want to kill? Oh, probably a lot of definitely. creatures. Definitely. Uh -huh. Just like, what, what are you thinking? What's something that you're... Whoa, 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 what about that? Whoa, 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 what? They're just doing so much damage. What's your life total at Tomer? <laughs> 22. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm hurting. What's, what's your life total? This guy's at the highest life total. He's <laughs> yeah, like at 40. Minute. I'm at 27. Oh, okay. Well, that's higher what's, than mine. What, what's your life total? Uh, it, it's 24. I'm, right. I'm right in there with you. Okay. Yeah. We're actually doing pretty good amount of damage this game. Yeah. Game. It's going. Listen, as long as you don't mess with my stuff, I would love to enable your ability to kill something if you so okay. choose. All right, All right, I'm gonna pay three and I will cast Minion's Return, mm. enchanting my baby lasagna. When the enchanted creature dies, I return that card to the battlefield under my control. Mm. And okay. then I will tap Babala Saga, sacrificing up to three things. I will sacrifice this Ash Baron's Minion's Return and Babala Saga herself. Mm. That's three types. I'll draw three cards, gain three life. Each one will lose three life. And Minion's Return will pop Babe Lasagna right back to the battlefield. That's that's great, great. And that morbid triggers upon the death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How very uh, morbid. At the end step, yes. I did get a land with that, so I will play this Terramorphic Expanse. I will also then tap my Bajuka Bog to put Kaya's ghost form onto Baby Lasagna. <laughs> when the Enchanted Permanent dies or is put into exile, I return it to the battlefield under my control. Right. Which feels pretty good. It's a, a nice little insurance policy to have there. And somehow I'm the threat. Just always. don't look at my board state. Always, always. <laughs> Ignore the cards and- Ignore, Ignore the, cards. the cards. Don't read them, don't explain them. That's right. <laughs> don't explain them. Don't think about them. Uh, I'll go ahead and crack the Terramorphic Expanse to go and find a swamp. I'll also have to discard the hand size, but I can do Aww. that. Aww. Yeah, all right. What are you discarding? I'm discarding an Overwhelming Remorse, which all right. would be a removal spell that I can't really cast because you're not going to let me have stuff in my graveyard. No. Uh, but I'll go and find a swamp for the Terramorphic. And hold on. End step, trigger. End step. I'm feeling morbid. So I think <laughs> I, I took care of a few of Tomer's pieces. So mm. I'm thinking about blowing up the professor's commander. Mm. How do you feel about that, Joey? I and don't want him together. to be mad at me for your actions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm for so this. not in this together. <laughs> I'm for this. I feel it would be a mistake. <laughs> Taking all this into consideration, yes, uh, I'm going to blow up the professor's commander with that ability. You're going to attempt to blow up the professor's I, commander with that I will ability. Target uh, Helena and Elena. I did. Pr I did profess that it would be a mistake. I'm going to tap a green, and I'm going to give them some snakeskin veil. It's an instant, but a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control, and it gains hexproof until end of turn. So not only do they not die, but they are thriving. <laughs> <laughs> that card is low-key really, really amazing, by the way. Well done. Awesome. I love it. Carry on. The end step ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. All right. I'll allow the it. end step ends. We untap. We upkeep. We draw. Oh, I love it when I have something that whenever a land enters the battlefield, I proliferate because it means I proliferate. Mm -hmm. Trigger, we are gonna bring this up to four counters on Helena and Elena. We are going to bring the Scavenging Ooze up to six counters. The Dusk Skell Crawler up to five counters. Oh, this is, this is really, really, really good. Gross. No? Gross. <laughs> I think good. the word was gross. It's good, it's good. Where's the board wipes? It's <laughs> board wipes, no. Black players, board please. Wipes, no. No, 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 no. You hit me. So earlier. and now you're asking for help? Let's yes. let's have a vote at the table. <laughs> let's okay. let's have a vote at the table. How many people think I should attack Tomer? Me. I'm not against this in theory, yeah. <laughs> How many people think I should attack Alec? <laughs> I understand he tried to wrong you. <laughs> 
<laughs> How many people think I should attack Joey? What if what if no attacks? How about no attacks? That sounds like a, uh, someone oh, who needs God. to be attacked. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I move to declare attackers. Yeah. Helena and Elena are going to put six counters on a creature. I will have those six counters go on scavenging ooze, making it a 14-14 trample. Yeah, that, that's pretty big. That 14-14 trample is coming at you, Tomer. Me? Yeah. Okay. Little yeah. old me. Um, um, so I, so the annoying thing about these illusions, they might have high power, but they have very low toughness. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are so, there any blocks? I'm so scared when you say no blocks. Uh, are, are there any blocks? Uh, if you can kill the dust shell crawler, it loses trample. I can't. I'm blue. <laughs> blue has plenty of removal spells. I'm bad at magic. <laughs> No blocks. No blocks. So uh, before damage is dealt, I'm going to tap three. My scavenging hooves. You know, oozes don't have a lot of cognitive ability. I need to use some of my magical power to grant it just a little bit of Hunter's Insight. Ooh. All right, I'm not dead. You just draw a bajillion cards. Yes. That's fine. Target I creature I control when it deals combat damage. Draw that many cards. Uh, six, 12, 13, 14. I draw 14 cards. Tomer, tell me you have a counter spell. <laughs> no. Does it resolve? <sighs> I am really torn on this right now. Now you're talking about a counter Joey. spell. Joey. Watch me counter up to 14. Joey. I, <laughs> Joey, please. So Tomer, what's your life total? 19. A little louder, please. I don't think the microphone. <laughs> it's early. Not, not, how much is like 19. 19. I'm, please, Joey. Let's I'm make really... sure the big avatar of Tomer at I'm, 19 oh, comes up on the screen. So I'm really luck. torn between my desire not to see you draw a bazillion cards Ooh. and my desire to see your life total go down. <laughs> so I don't, a, I don't know what to do. 14, 14 is not a, a bazillion. And would you let a, a, a Tomer run rampant? What a rampant. They're just making cute little owlbears. Ooh. I could have attacked you, Joey, but I chose not to. I, I wanted to both, you. both Alec and Tomer raised their hands when I said, who thinks I should attack Joey? Three it was turns. The most, they both raised their hands. Three turns. They both they raised their hands. You won't attack me for three turns? Final offer. Wow. I'm, wait, 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 wait. May I, may I try and uh, may, uh, sweeten the pot? I will not attack you until they are both dead. That's not just three turns. That's rest, it's told you, it, unless it's you and I against one another, you let me draw those 14 cards that's really tempting, man. That's really, really tempting. Look how sad his face is. <laughs> it's... But you know what? Tomer did give me biscuits. Finally, <laughs> they pay off. Finally. I'm going. I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to cast respite, prevent all combat damage that we dealt this turn, and I gain one life for each attacking creature. All right, that's not so bad. Yeah. I just, I just didn't want you to draw oh, that many right. cards. I don't think that I can keep up with that many cards. Oh. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Oh. That's I'll, fine. I'll you gain, won't regret it. I'll gain one life, and I won't be attacked by Tomer for three, three turns. turns. And I've probably made a profound enemy out of the professor. Leaving the blue player alone. It's a profound enemy, if you will. Don't mess with the profess. With the profess. <laughs> yes, I understand. I'm sorry. I just like that was. A terrifying amount of card draw <laughs> that I just can't let go. Spicy. Very well. Uh, you gain one life. I gain one life. I do not draw any cards. I'm angered. <laughs> I understand. I'm angered. All right, fine. So in my second main, what I want to do is I'm going to tap one, two, three with the Moss Fire Valley, and then four with the Findhorn Elves. And we're going to bring in a Armor Craft Judge. This is a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Now, Joey, this is not for each plus one, plus one counter. This is just literally one, two, three cards. Is that fair? You, you, that I draw three? May I draw good. three cards? You know what you can do? You can draw three cards. I draw one a two and three. <laughs> I played a land this turn, didn't I? I got that that trigger on the proliferate, so mm -hmm. I will pass. I'm glad I'm not like at five or whatever. So yeah. that's, that's great. Uh, I will untap. Are you at five or whatever? No, that's because Joey <laughs> saved you. Joey, Joey Hart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, armoire. So when I draw, I get to put a plus one plus one counter on my chasm skulker. Boop. I'm going to tap six mana. Uh oh. Yes, big. And I'm going to cast All Seeing Arbiter. 
This is an Avatar 5-4 flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, draw two cards, then discard a card, and whenever you discard a card, target creature and opponent control gets negative X, negative zero, until on your next turn, where X is the number of different mana values among cards in your graveyard. What? <laughs> That's a lot of words. It's modern magic, Brian. Get with the times. Oh my god. So first, yeah, number right, one. Don't, don't read it again. Draw <laughs> two cards. I'm going to draw two cards. It's fine. Then I'm going to discard a card. Island. And when I discard my card, you see, target creature and opponent controls get negative X and negative O until end of turn. I will target... Kalana and Alina, mm. when I have t uh, three different mana values among cards because lands are mana value zero. Perfect. So di three different mana values in my graveyard. So it gets negative three, negative oh, until my next turn. Okay. And I have a mint trigger. All right. So I'm going to make a cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> roar. <laughs> Just one. Just one. I only so have, don't one. have the other min. I don't have another min. I'm gonna yeah. make an owl bear. It's fine. Like, <laughs> oh wait, and then I get two more things on the team. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna um, make a sphinx. <laughs> meow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a squid horror. I don't know what squid says. We'll get we'll get there when we get there. Yes. All right. Who is at the highest life total? I'm at 21. We had an agreement. Yo, we had an agreement. Yo, no, we were good. <laughs> you, my friend, well, I have too many big things. I send it this way. Alec, uh, oh, this, oh, this, oh. Is, this is uh, uh, math. One, two, three. So two, three. It's three. three. No, ding. Yeah, no, I can't even attack you. All right, you know what? I passed. All right. Great. That was great. That's I got I a bit lost there, but I think that's what it I was want. a lot of emotion for Seth. That's if, what I wanted to do. <laughs> wow. This is mono blue. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to activate Ghostly Pilfer's ability. So I'll discard this island, which makes it so Ghostly Pilfer cannot be blocked this turn. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. Then I am going to go to combat. I'm going to send the Ghostly Pilfer that cannot be blocked at you, Professor. Okay. How much? It can't be blocked. So total damage. Uh, it's well, wait, right wait, now. Wait, no blocks. Is no there any blocks. ninjutsuing I, going on? Uh, Fanciness. I'll, I'll declare all my attackers first. I'll send. Uh, also send the Reaper from the Abyss at Tomer. All right, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not blocking that either. Okay, so no blocks declared. I will activate the ninjutsu ability. Indulgent Tormentor. Before it enters the battlefield, I will do the ninja scry. So I'll look at the top three. But I already have an indulgent tormentor. Joey. I didn't want you to draw 14 cards. But that's yes. a lot of cards. But Joey, did you think I of all I could have done with 14 cards? Yes. <laughs> Most of those things involved me think, dying. I don't <laughs> think, well, not just you. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the value that he would get. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll return the ghostly pilfer back to my hands, and Professor, you'll have a 5-3 flyer. Yeah, that just you. hits me. Does it do anything when it hits me for five? It does not. Woo! It says... Lowers your life total, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> by five. By five. I'll take six. I go You'll to take 13. Six. And so, yeah, the Indulgent Tormentor says at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card unless target opponent sacrifices a creature or pays three life. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my end step and pass the turn to you, Joey. Okay. Much as I would love to activate Babla Saga, she actually still has summoning sickness, so I can't. So I'll just do the untap stuff. I'll do the drawer part. And ooh, uh, that's fun. That's fun for us. I'll pay one and cast an Abundant Growth. Mm -hmm. Enchant land. When Abundant Growth enters the battlefield, I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. And the Enchanted land can tap for any color of mana. So I'll go ahead and do that. Ooh, cool. After that, I'll then pay one, two, three, four, five to cast an Ugin's Nexus. Mm -hmm. oh, if a player would begin an extra turn, they skip that turn instead, but if the Nexus gets put into a graveyard from the battlefield, instead I will exile it and take another extra turn. Uh-oh. You're not gonna uh -oh. sacrifice. Somebody have something card. for that? So if that resolves... Uh, uh, blue player, where the hell are ya? Joey, we're friends, right? Yeah, we're good. No, 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 blue player, we're blue good. it. We're good. Blue it. Blue. You gotta do something blue about resolves. this. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Before before it resolves... Oh, um, yeah, other blue player. Other blue player, other blue, blue it. Player. I have a little bit. Okay. Yes. A little bit of blue. <laughs> Question, uh, if 
if uh, Baba Lasaga happened to just die right now, mm -hmm. uh, Kaya's ghost form would trigger and it would come back. Does it have summoning sickness after that? It would. Yeah. Okay. So are you sure that this is the the, the hill that you want to die on? Though that's I'm not. I happen to see some other stuff that has trample that might be more impactful than me dealing three damage to you right now. I'm just gonna throw that out there. That's but but, but there. you're gonna be taking extra turns. I'm gonna be taking an extra turn singular. Potentially infinitely with some madness. No, with this, craziness. this is this is absolutely this, a one-time effect. This stuff. If this could do an infinite turn loop, I wouldn't be playing it. This is a, a one thing I'm going to draw some cards. I genuinely promise. I have no interest in taking infinite. Turns. All right. Well, I've got an EDH wreck for you. You better be telling the truth. I am one thousand. I just think it's fun that I get to draw cards and I'll get to do it again. It's mm -hmm. actually going to be pretty short in the grand scheme of things. Okay. I hope. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Pass priority. Okay. I hope it didn't feel like I guilted you into anything. No, no, no. I no. just I do think that that would deal more damage to you. I like to hear all the arguments of everybody before I. This is a mistake. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the thing. I'm going to tap Baba Lasaga. She's going to eat Baba Lasaga, Kaya's Ghost Worm, and the Ugin's Nexus. I'll draw three, gain three. Each opponent loses three. And then Ugin's Nexus hits the graveyard, except no, it doesn't. It exiles and gets me an extra turn. Baba Lasaga also hits the graveyard, but Kaya's Ghost Form triggers to bring it right back. And I didn't draw a land, which is very, very fun for me. But that's okay. We have another chance. So I'm going to discard. Hold on a second. I have a Reaper from the Abyss trigger. Oh, so God. morbid because Baba Lasaga died this turn. Um, I can destroy a non-demon creature. Baba Lasaga is a great target, I think. Min Wily Illusionist is a great target, I think. So don't look over here. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. They're really good friends. Well, yeah, friends. Who, who are those good friends attacking on your next turn? Not you. Not If they don't attack me I, and I don't blow any of them up, is that something we could, I, we could pinky swear on, perhaps? Sure, for a turn. For one turn? For one turn. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna target... Sucker. I mean, hmm? What? what was that? No, it's it nothing. Uh, I, think I, I heard like some feedback or something. So I'll target uh, Min Wily Illusionist. Woo! The Morbid Dang. Trigger. What's the sound effect of it dying? Oh, we were. Do we have a sound effect to, from Tomer of it dying? Womp, womp. <laughs> Where does it even go? <laughs> okay, that's all. Okay. Wow, that was a bad move, Alec. <laughs> this is going to get so far out of hand, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is going to get so far out of hand, it doesn't matter. Amazing. Or Min. What am I discarding? Who put these cards on this deck? What were they thinking? Well, was it discard or discard? <laughs> or deck card. Or deck card. Is it discard or deck card? Or D's card? D's cards. D's cards. Oh, boy. All right. Mind Goblin D's cards. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Let me move. I made a tweet about asking what the blank goblin was, and I regret it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I remember that. I was like, Tomer, no! <laughs> I, just, I, I, I asked all my friends, and they're like, I won't tell you. I'm like, I, and then I Google searched it, and I couldn't find an answer. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll tweet it. <laughs> so many regrets. So many regrets. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I have too many cards in hand, so I will discard two hand size, those two right there, and then I'll go to the next turn. And oh, the, wait, that's not me then, is it? No, sorry, it's okay. I told Thanks, you it's gonna be pretty quick. He doesn't cool. look sorry. Right there. <laughs> I'm. It, it's all good. I untap up, keep drawered. I will pay two mana and cast a copper mirror. Beautiful. Artifact nice. and creature. And I think I'll also, I'll pay one and two there to also cast an ordeal of Nylea. When the enchanted creature attacks, it gets plus one counters. I've never used that ability on this card, but what I have used is that when it gets sacrificed for any reason, mm. I get to go and find two basics. Baba gets oh, to be very, very synergies. happy about it. And that's Layers. it. I'm done. After wow. That. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. I, don't, I told you. <laughs> I, sh I sure, I sure whined a lot. <laughs> Do I whine a lot? Don't answer that. <laughs> untap. I, I'm happy. Don't answer that. Yep. Yeah. Untap. Upkeep. Drawer. Oh. One, two, three. Four, five, six. With that six mana, it is time for a Verderous Gearhook. Hmm. Four, four, trample. When it enters the battlefield, distribute four plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures that I control. I'm gonna put those four counters right on Helena and Elena. Now they have a negative three, if I recall, from Tomer's turn, but that's only negative three. Just three. So they are currently a seven something. They are currently <laughs> a seven something, but you know, I think it's not enough because I am gonna proliferate. Mm. 
Forest into play, trigger on the Evolution Sage. Let's go ahead, add another counter here. Oh wow, I can't even, I need to. I can't hold all these. <laughs> add a counter here. Look at that, scavenging ooze. Add a counter here. Then I move to declare attackers. Helena and Elena, partners, have a negative three, but they've still got six, seven, eight, nine power, which is going on to the Gear Hulk. I think they have eight power because they have five, base two. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's eleven minus three? Oh, eight. Right. Eight. Eight. Eleven minus three. Yeah. Eleven, ten, nine, yeah. eight. Judge, am I correct with math? Uh, I am. Eight. Ten minutes later. After consulting with our judge, the professor's math was correct. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Eight counters go on my Verterous Gear Hulk. It also gains haste, thanks to Helena and Elaine, our really good friends. <laughs> All right. This is pretty good. Joey, I really wanted to draw those 14 cards. I understand. You did not let me draw those 14 this cards. This is an accurate statement. Helena and Elena, very good friends. Scavenging Ooze and Verterous Gear Hulk. All of them? What do you got? Well, I, I have myself at 34. Poof! Oh. You have yourself at 34. Why the hell are you not I'm attacking at, it? I'm at 10. Well, we made a deal. All right, yeah, hang on. All right, seven. I need you to do some math. I need to kill Joey. Where's the calculator? <laughs> where's Ab? Where's oh, wow. Abacus? You know what? I, I'm just going to. I'm just. I'm just going to swing everything at, at these at Joey, and we're going to let. Uh, we're going to let math sort itself out. How much of that can you absorb? 32. <laughs> 34. Thank you. All right. Um. And all tramples, which is great for me. I love that. Really, really, really happy about it. Let's not let the professor draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Happy to be here. Reap what you sow. Just chilling huh? me over here. We got a little owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how they are, professor. Oh, man. That's incredible. Whoa, that's maple. Yeah. <laughs> that is, you can smell that from there. That's right how there. you know it's authentic, straight from the tree. Amazing. All right. Uh, in a desperate effort to stay alive, I'm going to declare some blockers. Your, I will have. Yeah. <laughs> how are you that? <laughs> that, oh. is, that is like eating maple syrup. What are you expecting? <laughs> They're maple biscuits. <laughs> This makes my victory over you all the sweeter. Ha! I appreciate that. Was that. That was the whole reason why I pulled out the, the biscuit one. Oh, what you oh. got for me? Let's declare us a blocker mm -hmm. here. I'm going to throw Copper Mirror in front of Scavenging Ooze. All right. And then once the block has been declared, but before damage, mm -hmm. I would like to tap and activate Baba La Saga, mm -hmm. sacrificing the Ordeal of Nylia and the Copper Mirror. Mm -hmm. That's an artifact, creature, and enchantment. Mm -hmm. So I will gain three life, draw three cards, each opponent will lose three. Because I sacrificed Ordeal of Nylia, I'll also go and find two basic lands and put them into play tapped. Now, the blocked creature though, since it has trample, you did not we'll stop get, it, We'll get correct? There. We'll get there. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Just one second. Danger. If Joey dies, can we replace him with a pile of cookies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you want to cut it? Or? Well, actually, I feel like you're the aggressor here, so. That's my best card. You can't let me have that one. Wait, you gave me heck for that. <laughs> but you're allowed to do it? That's right. Do as I say, not as I do. There you go. I'm right. disgusted. I'll draw my three. <laughs> Then I'll pay two mana, and because I've gained life this turn, this Mortality Spear costs two less to cast, and I'll destroy target Dusk Shell Trample Giver, please? Please. <laughs> oh, I'll allow it. Why doesn't this have flash? That would be great. Oh, wait, this isn't it. Oh, it doesn't have enough mana. You have two mana. Thank, thank you, Tomer. I'm just helping out. Yeah, all right. Find the Dusk Shell Crawler is destroyed, but you take 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 damage. Eight of that is commander damage. Yes, it is. Relevant. Mm. I, nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I oh, may yeah. technically have a mouth full of sweet, but truly <laughs> I am tasting bitter right now, Joey. And I'm tasting victory because I'm still here. <laughs> Pass to Tomer. Before it goes to Tomer's oh, turn. Oh god, that morbid trigger. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing to remember every <laughs> single time. Uh, so I think we're gonna go ahead and target. You no, know, we had an agreement of friendship. 
and trust. But then he tried to hit someone for 40 plus damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone who I honored my agreement. Well, wasn't that last trigger? Yeah, you didn't That's verify true. the length of You want another right? turn? Cumulative turn there, stack, stack, a, stack some turns of amnesty like I stack counters on my creatures. You gotta yo. deal with it eventually, is all I'm saying. I, I, I do think. Right now, all I wanna do in this game is kill Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Stop by twitch.tv slash edhretcast where Joey dies first almost every game because I tend to rile people, people I see up why. like this. I see why. <laughs> yeah. Somehow this time it doesn't seem like such a good deal no. considering... It was the, it was because I mumbled sucker, isn't it? <laughs> it might have had something to do with the sucker earlier, so... <laughs> yeah, you <I> fool! <laughs> <laughs> so I do think the earlier agreement terms have concluded, so right. with this trigger, I'm gonna go ahead and target Scavenging Ooze. Really? Rip. All right. Excuse you. B plus. Look at, look at all those counters. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Does my end step end? I'll allow it to end. I'll allow it to end. I don't, I don't have a choice. All right. They think they can permission to no, know. It just happens. All right. <laughs> You're good. Untap, upkeep, cabinet? <laughs> uh, trigger on the Chasm Skulker. I'll tick that up to four counters. I will. Play an island. Hey. Seven manas. Uh oh. Four. My favorite little fish. Scourge of Fleets oh. is a creature Kraken, 6-6. Six, six. When it enters the battlefield, return each creature your opponent's control of toughness X or less to its owner's hand, where X is a number of islands you control. I control eight islands. So uh, everything uh, toughness, eight or less. It's not much of my board. I know, that is the annoying part. And the best part is, is I'm gonna get to cast that armor craft judge again. I'm helping Thank you, you out, Brian. Yeah, I'll remember I'm that. I'm just helping you out. Bounce, bounce. Yeah. Bounce, bounce. Nothing for me. Woo. And with all that out of the way, this means I can actually finally be on the offensive. Yeah, man. And it's time to start swinging with the mono blue. Um, so, Brian, yes. I will swing at you. What, Sorry, are those, what, are those, what are those each? <laughs> they're, they're all three. Uh, I believe there will right. be three ones. So, so three, six, three nine. six nine. I'm still living. Uh, the uh, let's swim, add another five damage. That is, look, I we don't need to call a judge. That is fourteen. And then and then I will also swing the all seeing arbiter at you, Alec, for five. Dang. All right. Attack trigger. Yeah. Attack trigger, all seeing arbiter. Ah, uh, before before you scoop, I have to draw cards, and you have to watch me draw cards. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, is that true? <laughs> what kind of voice? He nodded. <laughs> he nodded. God damn it. <laughs> He's so pleased with himself over there. He's so happy. I love He's it. He's this little gremlin. Oh, I love it. Oh, so many cards. I'll, I'll discard a thought courier. And uh, oh, uh, this will uh, get another minus. Minus four this time, Brian. How do you feel about that? I feel like it's relevant. I feel like it matters for the current moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for those incredibly sweet biscuits. You're welcome. Oh, I drew two cards, so I'm going to add two more counters on the Chasm Skulker for Brian to be extra dead. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I'm extra bitter. Yay. Love it. And I'll take five and go down to 10. Yes. How the hell did I die first? <laughs> <laughs> <It passed. laughs> Thank you so much, Tomer. All right. <laughs> Much different board state this time around. Oh, this is so much better. Mm. I appreciate this board. Yeah, I can see why you might like it. I'm now officially rooting for Alec. Oh, yes. They've come full circle. <laughs> come full circle. I like it. I am a, I, I, I am a man of many emotions, wildly, rapidly changing emotions. You never know what to expect. Yeah. Go get him, Alec. Okay, I don't Double know. Double kill. About any of Where'd this? all your cards go, Alec? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. That was a great question. Come on, Joe. Oh, really? Your cards go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to use a lot of my resources getting rid of these huge trampling creatures that were coming mm -hmm. my way. You should have just let the wave wash over. Slap <laughs> it. It's fine. Okay, I think I'm just going to, in desperation, play a whole bunch of small creatures I feel it. as blockers. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and tap one for an artificer's assistant. Thank you. And then I'll tap another one for a Gudul Lurker. 
I'll tap another one for a slither blade. <laughs> <laughs> and two more for Ornithopter of Paradise. <laughs> Ornithopter of Paradise will trigger my Artificer's Assistant because it's in Ooh. Artifact, which is a historic spell. So I'll scry one. But not a ninja scry. No, a just a regular scry. one. Uh, and that's definitely going to the bottom. Does that make you a scry hard? <laughs> there is no good reaction to that. <laughs> just pass. <laughs> I'm scrying as hard as I can. I, it's true. <laughs> Go ahead, Joey. Okay, I will untap all my crap. Yeah. Do a, a drawer it. step. What are life totals? Zero. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Little worried it's about seven. it. Buddy. It's seven. Ooh, ooh. Seven. Yeah, it's pretty low. Pretty okay. dicey over here. <laughs> and I'm at ten. Ooh. You, we had an. You, I still have one more turn of reprieve from you. Is that correct? You have one more turn. So not this turn. Okay. The next turn, though. Okay. Coming, coming for people. All right. Well, in that case, I'll play my land for turn, which will be this tapped path of ancestry. I'll pay three mana and recast from my hand my baby lasagna. She back for my last move of this turn. I think I'll also pay two and cast this Land of War Loam Speaker. Two mana, one three elf druid. It can tap for a mana of any color, or it can tap to turn a land I control into a three three creature that is also still a land, which makes it very fun to sacrifice for multiple types, which I like nice. quite a lot. Yeah, it's all fun. Um, I have seven cards in hand. I'm gonna be done after that. It's all you, Tumor. Okay. I'm terrified, but let's see if I can <laughs> close this thing out. Uh, I'm gonna untap. Well, so many untaps. Oh my god. If only it was magic online, then it would do it for me. All right, draw. Perfect. Oh, I get a counter on the Chasm Skulker. Very nice. We're gonna spend five mana to recast my commander, Min. Mm -hmm. Wily Illusionist. We will also play an island for the turn, and we will then move to combat. Yes, I'm just swinging everything that I just had that doesn't have summoning sickness at you, Alec. Okay, Ooh. fair enough. Uh, so attack trigger on the All Seeing Arbiter. I'm going to draw two cards, and then I'm going to discard a card, and then give something. You know, uh, you know the things. <laughs> Doing the things. Um, and the stuff and all right, we're going to draw two cards. I'm going to put two more counters on. Uh, this here, uh, Skulker, uh, this will trigger Min, I'm going to make another illusion, the illusions get bigger, I discard, uh, discard an island as well, and, uh, then the final trigger is, I'm going to make the Bubble Saga small. Alright. Small. It's my, one, Small, two, like a baby three, lasagna. Four. Yes. <laughs> my, Minus. my little baby that I call my lasagna. Has that thing not gone back to the command zone even once? I've I'm noticing by your system. I've, it's been bounced. I've returned it right. directly from but the But no, computer, you're but still on original artwork. Yeah. I've, you're I've, still on your original artwork. I've wow. I've been able to actually upgrade her. But, yeah, you know, it's okay. You, you haven't even seen my final form. Yeah. So if you block the <laughs> four more most uh, largest ones, that's one, two, three, and then one of the illusions. So you okay. would be only taking uh, four or eight damage. Whew. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. All of mine will die, but uh, one of your illusions will die. One of my well. illusions will die? Okay. And I'll take eight down to two. Looks like you lose your illusion. Like use your illusion, but you lose Brian, your you okay. illusion. Brian, just you. I have a death trigger with Min. When it's it's an dies. illusion. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah. go. All right, Min, death trigger. Uh, I get to put up a thing, mana value four or less. I will put a Fire Ruin Expedition onto the battlefield. It's an enchantment. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, you may put a quest counter on it, and I can remove three counters on it and sacrifice it to draw two cards. That's it. Okay. Well, then I pass. I'm still here. You're still there. Go get him, Alec. I'm Woo. still here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw something. And this is not looking too good for us. It's fine. Joey, I don't know. I, I am out of turns where I will not be hit by Tomer's attack step anymore. Yes. <laughs> uh, Do you have enough in your big stack of cards and What hand? if I give you cookies this time and then more bribes and. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
<laughs> Only when I die do Only I get when to indulge. Die. Oof. <laughs> that, yeah, that is some that's maple. actually like oof. that is some that is, maple. That's yeah. the smell of Canada right this is, there. This is like this is like some Crown Royale. <laughs> okay. Viewer, viewers can actually smell it through the video. <laughs> <laughs> I will tap two for the ghostly pilferer. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pass the turn. Before it becomes my turn. Oh no. I'm going to pay one, two, and three. Tomer, I'm going to try to putrefy your chasm skulker, destroy target creature. Doesn't that thing break into a million it little things? Super does. But it's Did really big. He might almost want that. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Resolves. Alrighty. So when Chasm Skulker dies, however, you put X11 blue squid tokens on, with Island Walk onto the battlefield where X is the number of counters on it. I have nine counters on it. I'm going to make nine squiddies. What kind of sound do the squids make? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what does the fox say? <laughs> Meow. No, 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 that's a, yeah, there you, there, go. You go. there you go. Do the thing. <laughs> Dance, monkey. <laughs> okay. All right. Move to my turn. Allow it. Thanks. <laughs> You're both so dead. Resolves. <laughs> yeah. Allow it. Resolves. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tap this swamp for mana. Uh, so I have one floating, then I'll tap Llanowar Lone Speaker and animate it. So it's now a creature that also has an enchantment on it, but it's still a land. And then I will tap Babala Saga to eat the swamp, the enchantment. That is an enchantment, a creature, and a land. So I will draw three cards, each one will lose three life, and I will gain three. And Alec, I th think that might kill you? I think it might. Okay, yeah. That's good. It's all good. You have been lasagnaed. I got. <laughs> wow. I have been lasagnaed. I'll go to negative but one. Death tastes delicious. Yep. So here we are. EDH rec versus MTG Goldfish, oh, which is the best the aggregate line. at the best aggregate site for steak seven range. budget command. Uh, well, something. I feel like I'm about to die too. This is the worst time to uh, do the steaks. <laughs> I'm at four. Can you finish me off, Joey? So you're at four. Can you lasagna me. Four. Oh wow! I'm at four. four. He's a four. So lasagna him. I have that one mana still floating. I'll pay one, two, three, four, five and six, and I will cast my favorite budget board wipe, Deadly Tempest. Destroy all creatures. Each player loses life equal to the number of creatures they controlled that were destroyed this way. Oh no, if the squiddies. That's a lot of squids. That's <laughs> why you did that. That's why, yeah, I wanted to make sure. Like That's it. why he did that. You have how much mana up? Two. I have two. But you're gonna be more sad. Oh, you have a counter oh, spell. He's got you're a counter gonna spell. be more sad. Spell pierce, pay two more. You Gladly. <laughs> All right, now I die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Budget board wives got there. Got me. May I offer, <laughs> may I offer you no. a Canadian cookie no. in this trying time? I don't want any cookies. Alec, did you want? I forgot to offer you a cookie when you oh, died. Oh, no, no. I'm good. I really the, can you smell that? Towards Have you eaten Tomer. these before? No. They're, they're Have good. you ever had maple <laughs> syrup? <laughs> good game. Good game. Good it's clammy. Game. That was <laughs> absolutely <laughs> clammy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That thank was you. so thank fun. You. What a great game. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry I put so many counters on all my creatures. I'm sorry I made all those sound effects. I'm sorry I attacked everyone with demons. I'm sorry I attacked Tomer. I'm sorry I was mono blue. I'm sorry I attacked Alec. I'm sorry I sent a message to Prof with the Ornithopter of Paradise at the very beginning. That did not pay off. Sorry I didn't attack Joey sooner. I'm sorry I took out Brian. I'm sorry that I pinged everyone with the Dreadhound over and over. It was very rude. I'm sorry I tried to draw 14 cards. I'm sorry I tried to counter things. I'm sorry that I blew up so many creatures. I'm sorry I gave Helana and Alina hexproof. I'm sorry I almost took out Alec. I'm sorry that I, what else did I do? I'm sorry I did the Steve Martin bit. I'm sorry it was a spell pierce, not a counter spell. I won, I'm not sorry at all. These are really sweet, wow.